So I've come out this morning looking for bears and unfortunately the weather is looking pretty grim. But the secret to getting unique shots is to stay out in the bad weather. Bingo, here we go. It's a female bear and her cubs. I always feel the need to try and you know, keep scientific and professional. But when you see bear cubs, all of that goes completely out the window because they're so cute. Right now, they're all looking for crabs hiding under the rocks. And this mother is a really good forager. And I can tell that by counting how many cubs she has. She has three cubs. In order to have that many cubs, she must have done a great job fattening up last year before hibernation. This little guy. These guys are tiny. They're born in January or February while the mother's hibernating inside the den. The cubs have only got about 18 months to bulk up and learn the survival skills from mum. And as they grow up, the mother kind of teaches them to, to roll rocks like she does. And they're essentially weightlifting these huge rocks from when they're tiny, and that's why when they're adults, like the mother, they are so, so strong. So this beach is part weight room, part classroom. And even the quite big rocks, you know, ones that I'd take two hands, they just flip out of the way. The great thing about foraging along the coastline is that even when the tide comes in and covers all the crabs, there are still plenty of berries to eat right along the forest edge. So this female's finished foraging on the shoreline. Now she's gone up to the edge and is just smashing berries. It's amazing watching them up close through a long lens because you can see how dexterous they are with their tongue and their lips got incredible control just being able to pluck individual berries off. This is great bear habitat as they've got a seafood bar right next to a lush temperate rainforest. But the thing about rainforests is that sometimes it's got to rain. I think sometimes it's tempting when the weather's rubbish to stay inside and not film, but you just never know what you're going to get. Often the most epic shots are the ones that are most uncomfortable to get. No pain, no gain. <laughs> Look how cute they are. And this is why sometimes You've just got to suck it up and sit through the rain. You don't get shots like this sitting at home. Oh, hail, lovely. <laughs> lovely. The joys of wildlife filmmaking. <laughs> I think that's the end of this family's visit to the beach. But when the sky clears, hopefully I can find them again. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching. Now normally these episodes are standalone stories, but this encounter was just way too epic. 
So if you want to find out what happens next, you're going to have to tune in next week. Uh, to see a playlist of the entire series, click just here.